Hi everyone, my name is Isabella Sislovati. I'm an excellent Power enthusiast with decades of business experience. Have you ever seen a slicer in Power BI report with search box? Something like this. Do you notice a search box is sometimes there and sometimes not there? And a search box is super useful as it can avoid the need to scroll around a long list of options. In this video, I'll show you how to create a simple slicer and how to add the search box on top of the slicer so that you can enhance the Power BI user experience, allowing your audience to get insights with speed and accuracy. And I have good news for you. All of this can be so easily created in less than one minute. Let's get started. This is a simple sales order Power BI report showing sales order quantity and amount in tables and charts. And right on top of this report, we have slices for city, country, month, and year. Let's look at the city slicers. Using this slicer, we can select any cities and the report get filtered to show information for our desired cities. Now, this is a long list and sometimes you may get tired scrolling down. For example, if you want to search for Sydney, it is much easier to just type Sydney in the search box and quickly you can filter the reports to show only Sydney. However, not all slices came with a search box. For example, in countries, there is no search box. Thankfully, this is a short list, so we can get by without the search box. And then in month in here, there is no search box as well. So how do we create a slicer with a search box? Let me show you. All right, let's recreate the slicer together from scratch. Hit visualization pane, click slicer, click and drag to the right, and then open up the field pane, type city, and then click and drag into the field area over here. And voila, you've got your slicers. Let's format this, change it to a drop down list like that, and then shorten it. We've got our slicer. However, there is no search box yet. How do we add that? Historically, the way to do that is to go to this slicer settings. But recently, Power BI has evolved and the search box option is no longer available over here. We only have options for single select, which you can turn on and off. If you select this, then you can only select one over here. So I'm going to turn it off so that I can select more than one cities. Multi-select is currently turned on to allow me to select more than one cities. If you turn it off, then you can only select one. So let's leave that one on. And then this select all, if you turn it on, watch it. That select all appear. So you can just click this and everything is selected. Whereas if you turn it off, watch this that select all is no longer there, which means that if you want to select everything, you have to select everything. If you want to deselect everything, you have to untick one by one, which is cumbersome. So I like to leave this as on. Yep, so that if you want to select everything, you select all, and then if you want to deselect everything, just untick that one more time. So how to make the search box visible? There are no options in slicer settings. You have to go to the slicer itself and click the three dotted points, more options, and then there are options in here. Click the first one, search, and watch this. After you click that, the search box appear over here. Then you can type Sydney. Isn't that awesome? I hope you have learned something useful and see you next time.